I finally did it. Hey guys, it's Spexer back again with another video. And today my curse has finally been broken. I've not been able to win games in a while. So let's just see how in this game we were able to break the curse. Welcome back to my hard world to Diamond Seas. If you learned something new or enjoy, consider subscribing. So the first round started pretty bad. Our whole team kind of pushed pretty brainlessly. And our whole team was able to only kill one person. It was our Sage. And yeah, we got destroyed the first round. Not off to a great start. But it's all good. The next round was our save round. Well, it was their fourth round. And our whole team died pretty fast. It was just a 2v5. Our Sage ended up killing one. Getting a Spectre. Dying. Then our Gecko ended up picking her Spectre. Flashing. And whipped all of his shots. I don't know how you choked that hard. But he got one at least. But then he did die. It's all good. The next round's our buy round. On our buy run, it was a 3v3 post plant. Our team ended up killing one that was trying to flank, and then killing one CT, and then finally killing the last person, Tower. And actually, none of my team died in the post plant, and it was a 3v3 to a 3v0. The next round was another 3v3 post plant. For some reason, it was the same people alive on our team. It was kind of weird, but it's all good. We ended up killing the first two people, and then Fade just tried to save. I don't know why. And then she also failed at saving. She died. It was so stupid. Oh, we won the round, right? That's all that matters. I'm happy. We've been dominating at post plant these next few rounds. And also, the next round is a 4v3 post plant. Belong, we planted. We just kept on holding. They just kept on picking one by one, not using any util. Not playing as a team. And I'll take it. They suck, and I don't know what that play was. It definitely did not work out for them. We got the win. We chilling. The score is now 3-2. The next round, we executed on a site. I peeked outside of Arp as soon as he destroyed my orb. And I killed him. And just like I killed him, we won the round, right? It was pretty simple. They suck. We win. 4-2 score now. The next round, we were pushing B long. I had an off because I got it from the other team in the previous round. From there, I ended up immediately killing Reyna because she peeked in a stupid angle. From there, I ended up pushing farther. And as then, I peeked to my left and I see Joe with the shorty. At that moment, I knew it was over. And yeah, of course I died. It was kind of dumb, but it's all good. We ended up winning the round and I got the off back in the next round. So we're chilling. Yeah, this round was a pretty crazy round. I had the off back, so I peeked in the Viper world because, you know, I have a massive ego. And then I killed a Viper. I don't know how you lose your own bit to an operator that close range. You know, I'm happy. I'm from there, I also went to site and I pushed into art and I saw two people. And I used all my bullets and it hit no one. I missed every single shot. I don't know how. But yeah, that's also how the round went. I missed all my shots and my team missed all the shots too. We lost the round. Whenever the other team was defending, they really liked their operators for some reason. Every time they had an opportunity, they were in double ops. Both of the duelists just wanted an operator so bad. It was pretty bad. The last two players on our team this round both died to an op in a different op. Scores now 5-4. Their Sage sucks, so I jumped over her one and proceeded to kill her right after. From there, I peeked into R and died to Fade. My team also died pretty weird ways. For some reason, our Phoenix died while lurking on mid. All in all, we lost the round. The next round was a 3v3. Our team wanted to push on B side pretty fast. I don't know why. Two of them died pretty fast also. And then from there, our Gekko just kept on going all out. And then ulted in the middle of the site for some reason. Like, he just thought that was going to work out and he was going to win the round. I don't know what his thought process was there, but we lost the round and we wasted it all. This round, we were pushing on the site. It was a 3v4, and then me and our Sage died immediately. It was pretty sad. From there, our Gecko ended up killing one, and then proceeded to kill two right after, pretty fast. And then his friend planted, and I was a 1v1 post plant, and Fade doesn't even know where our Gecko is. And because of that, Fade just backs into our Gecko, and our Gecko is able to easily kill Fade, winning us the round and winning the clutch, finishing off the first half at 6 6. The first round of the second half, it was a 2v2. They still needed to push on the site. Our Phoenix ended up killing one. From there, they knew where a general location of where Viper was, so they just played it slow. As soon as Viper dropped, our Gecko was able to easily kill Viper, winning us the round, making the score now 7 6. The next round was our fourth round while I was their save round. I ended up killing one person mid, and I knew there was another person, and I'm a greedy person, so I ended up going for him. Sadly, did die, but it's all good, because their race went crazy this round, and she just popped off at mid, and all of their team died at mid. It was pretty sad. And because of that, we were able to easily win our fourth round. It was a 2 3 retake. Our Gecko ended up killing one, then Gecko died. Phoenix ended up trading off the Gecko. 
And then from there, it was just a 1v1, but Sage ended up playing really weird, played back and slow, and because of that, she was able to solve enough time winning them the round and losing us the round. It's all good. It was a 4v3 we take. Our Phoenix ended up killing one, and then Dib ended up getting traded off. From there, it was just a 3v2. Our Raze got one, and then both of the other teams just died instantly to our Sage. It was kind of stupid. But it's all good because from there, our Raze peeked out of the Sage wall and then saw the other Sage just hiding there. And from there, Raze was able to easily peek and win the round. It was a 1v3 clutch for our Sage. Our Sage ended up killing one person, made it and rezzing me. From there, we ended up going to B site from behind and saw Reyna on the way. We ended up killing her, making it now a 2v1 retake. When I saw her halls, I immediately started using my wand, boxed off the spike from her, and also put an orb on top of Spike. And our Sage was able to easily half it. From there, their fade peeked inside the orb, killed me, but it's all good because our sage ended up trading me off, killing her, and winning us the round. Next round, I ended up killing one, making us up numbers, and then from there, since I'm a greedy person, I ended up still peeking, and I ended up dying, which was kind of dumb, but it's all good because later on that round, it was a 4v3, our sage ended up killing one, make it a 4v2, and then from there, I get the user alt and was able to easily kill one and also win the round pretty easily because we were just up in numbers. That's what it's That's all done. Nice job. Nice job, man. It was a 5v3. I ended up trying to flank them and then I killed Fade. From there, I pushed a little farther. Did end up dying, but it's all good because our Gecko flashed mid, killing another run, making it a 4v1. Our Phoenix was in their spawn. He ulted trying to kill their Sage. Their Sage just walled it off. Like, he just avoided it completely. She ran all the way to A site. But our teammate was already on a set and easily killed her. Making the score 12-7, which means we need to only win one more round and we win the entire game. In this round, I decided to buy an op. I ended up killing one person long. And then from there, Phoenix also killed one person long, making us up numbers 4-3. And then it turns out they're actually going A. And their Viper's already in their spawn, which killed me. And our whole team also died pretty similarly. By Phoenix and Gecko. It was a 2v2 from there. And... Our Gecko was able to flank the Viper, making it a 2v1. And then the way we lost this round was pretty stupid. Our Gecko peaked, Art got picked off from there. And then while our Phoenix was trying to rotate through spawn, their jet was already there and killed our Phoenix like that. The next round ended up pushing up and playing more greedy, which caused me to die. And we also lost that round. It was a 5v5 retake. It looked like a promising round. I ended up killing one. And then from there, I picked up our gun. Two of our teammates died in like a burst. From there, I ended up killing another person, and then I also died. And then the rest of my team also followed. This was a weird round. It was 1v3 retake. For some reason, our Phoenix just wouldn't die. I don't know why, but their team just wouldn't want to kill him. It came down to, like, the wire. They just had to kill him because he just peeked long with an operator. I don't know. It was kind of weird. <laughs> nice. How are you alive? Oh, sure. Get two ups. It kind of came down to the end. The score is 12-11. If you lose, we go into overtime. And if you win, we win the game. How the round started is I tried to flank them onto mid. I ended up easily killing Viper. And now we're up numbers. From there, I just hold mid. And I'm also able to kill Sage. But you know how I die. I get greedy like I always do. And then I die. Yeah, I need to really stop being greedy. But then from there, it took a while to finally push into sight. It got down to pretty low time. It was a 4v3. They tried to push onto a site to them immediately died to our race nice. and then their, their reina ended up killing our race making it a 1v3 they reina got the spike off obviously but our gecko ulted made him paralyzed and then we won the game because we're just better that's what it was oh just skill we clearly outskilled it from that game, I ended up getting 14 RR, which makes me now 14 RR and Platinum 2. This game was huge because before this game, I was on like a 9-game losing streak. And then I think in the last like 13 or 12 games, I ended up winning like 1. It was pretty stupid and bad. I ended up de-ranking really bad. I was one game away from Diamond, and now I'm 14 RR and Platinum 2. It's kind of unlucky. I don't know. It was like some weird curse or something. If you learned something new or enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I stream all this live right here on my YouTube. And I coach my viewers for free. If you want to get coached, comment down your Discord name and join my Discord server.